Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harkin, um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you a balanced damsel fly. These work really good when you see damsels on the surface. Fish love them, and because it's a balanced damsel, um, it's got the eyelet is right just uh, near, right behind the eyes there, and so it will float underneath an indicator. But if you ever see any kind of dragonflies or damsels on the surface, this is a great pattern. So the first thing we'll start off with is I've got some of these embroidery pins. You can just get them at a fabric store. And I put a three millimeter black tungsten bead on it. So you can see I've, I've, I've cut it down and I'll put it in my vise. I've got 140 olive ultra thread. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and add some thread to it. And I put a little bit behind the, the bead just to kind of keep it stationary. And then we'll cut that off. You can make your own eyes. I've got uh, these little plastic eyes that you can pre-buy. You just cut them to length. So I'm going to actually put this fairly close. So now I want to tie in the eyes. So I'll start by getting it going. With a figure eight, kind of tricky when you first get going, and then it will lay down. So I put it just a little bit behind the bead, and now we're going to just start adding. Here we go. So now we're just going to add some figure eights, and you just kind of position it until you get it. So I've got it about a half a bead length behind the bead. And I'm just going to make sure I've got it nice and tight in there. Add a few more wraps in here. I should have that pretty well secure. And then a few wraps right behind. Next thing I like to do, just add a little bit of super glue and then I'm going to whip finish it. Don't need a lot. And get your whip finish tool out. And we'll go ahead and secure that down. Okay, so that part looks pretty good. Okay, so now I've got my hook in my vise. And so I'm using a number 12. And this is a jig hook. And I'm going to go ahead and take my pin. And I'm just going to lightly put it on here because I want to position it. And I'll let you see kind of how we're going to do this. So I'm putting it on the bottom of the hook. Right now it looks to you like it's the top of the hook, but because this fish is the opposite way, it's actually on the bottom. So I've got it, uh, I've got my bead out here. I got my eyes here about half of a bead in front of the eyelet of the hook. Now what's important is you bring the thread back to the, uh, the bend, you got to be careful because I cut this off the pin and it's very sharp and it's kind of annoying if you break your thread because you were in a hurry. So I just kind of clean that up. Now I'm going to head back to right at where the barb is. And now what we're going to add, we're going to add some uh, olive marabou. So I just take one of these and I just take the feathers from the side. I like a pretty good tail on mine, so I'm going to make it pretty bushy. So take some off. Now what's important here is we got to get the length right. So let me reposition this just a little bit. So what we're looking for here, so I've got my marabou in my hand. We basically want it from about the, the eyes. So right here, back to the back, that's about how long we want. And then I'm going to transfer that to my non-dominant hand, and we're going to secure that in with a couple. Start off with loose wraps, and then I pinch it down. And then I usually just come forward, just add some bulk. And we'll clip that off.
Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna add some dubbing. So I'm gonna add some volume up here, but I'm just adding some thread here. Now I'm gonna add some shiny Vivas, which this right here, it just adds a little bit of flash underneath my dubbing. So I'll cut that. Gonna go ahead and tie this in. Start off kind of loose and then I just kind of pull it to get it where I want it. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the, the thread forward. And now we're gonna start wrapping concentric wraps forward, touching. I'm pulling fairly tight right now just to try to hopefully keep some proportions. And then after I get this forward, I'm going to tie it off. Again, it does not have to be perfect. I could have added just a little bit more volume up front. In fact, I'm going to do that real quick. That's the nice thing about when you have your bobbing up at the front. You can go in. I'm just going to add a little volume real quick. It probably doesn't matter to the fish because it's just sitting there bobbing. But I'm trying to show you how to at least get somewhat close to proportion. So there we go. And let's go ahead and finish our concentric wraps. And I haven't been tying all that long, so a little grace from you all is appreciated. When I get up to the front, I'll go ahead and tie it off. But this is a really nice pattern. And it works both as just a normal damsel as well as balanced. I tend to actually fish more uh, just stripping than I do an indicator. But Pete, I know you're watching, so this one's for you, buddy. Okay, tie that behind here. A couple of those. Bring it back over. Okay, let's cut that off. And now we'll go ahead and whip finish this portion of it. And here we go. It's hard with these eyes to get this where I want it, but okay. A little sloppy, but I got her done. Okay, we'll cut that off. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the tail because we're gonna make a dubbing loop. So we come back right here at the base. And I'm just making sure I get that secured in there. Watch out for my tail. Okay. Now to make a dubbing, let's cut this off. Yeah, and things don't have to be perfect. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, so now we're making our dubbing loop. We want about three inches. So I'm gonna come in here, bring it around a couple times. And then back in front to lock it in. Okay, then I've got my, my dubbing tool here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this out of the way for right now, because I've gotta go get my dubbing and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken some dubbing. I've taken the uh, Ice Dub Golden Brown. I've taken the Olive Brown. I've added just a little bit of the Semi Seal Dark Olive. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start just a little bit lighter and I'm going to actually taper this. So we'll start with a slim profile. We'll get a little bit thicker and that's just by design. And then up towards the front, I went with a ice dub peacock and hair ice peacock, which is a little bit brighter. And then I'm a sucker for just putting just a little bit of red in there. I know that uh, damsels don't have it, but I'll tell you what, fish love red. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my wax, just apply a little bit of wax in here. You don't have to put too much in there, but you want it to hold. Got to get the tail out of the way. Don't want to ruin my nice tail that I did. Okay, and now we just start adding some of this dubbing into the dubbing loop. And again, you don't have to put a ton of this in. Um, the goal is not to have a big bulky fly. So anybody that uh, is showing you how to do dubbing, less is better. So I just have just a little bit in there. Now I'm going to add my darker section. If you can see what my desk looks like, it's pretty, pretty messy right now. Uh, but I'm just grabbing just a little bit in here. That's probably pretty good. I want just a little piece of red in there. And then we'll start winding forward. So that, that's all I need here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this. And let's see what it looks like here. Okay, next thing we want to do, take a little dubbing brush. We want to kind of pick this out, make it look buggy. So, and what I'll do, I'm going to do this in a couple stages. I'm going to bring it forward, but I got to tie off my back. So, here we go. And these are loose wraps here going forward. So, just bring it forward. That way, oh, and I dropped it again. I always do that. And when I get up near the eyelid, I'm going to make two wraps. So I'm going to get a little bit of that red and dark in there. And that should be good. Let me put this back on here. Sorry, I'm a little sloppy at times, but I mean well. Okay, so we'll leave that right there, and I'll come right back and show you how we finish. Okay, so I finished uh, the dubbing up front. Now I take my dubbing brush and we're just gonna brush this out, create some buggy. Again, you want to let some of that uh, Viva shine through in there. There we go. And this thing will just look really nice in the water. You don't have to overdo it, but I just want it to. Okay, because damsels have legs in there. And then the final thing I'll do is I just take a little bit of, sometimes I'm closer than others getting this balance, but as long as you're close, if I need to, I can take a little bit of the uh, tail off if I, do, if I haven't weighted too heavily, because I do have it fairly long, but I like a nice long tail and, and it's fine if it sits forward let's see that so I don't know if you can see it right in there but oops there it is we'll just kind of turn so there you are that's your uh, and you can kind of do whatever you want with whatever colors but again I just try to make it look as buggy as I possibly can so there you are there's your balanced damsel fly all right